Very, very, very good evening, friends. This side, Rahul Magan here is a Group Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting, and also a venture capitalist. As we speak on 17th January 2021, I am going to be sharing a video about my outlook on the Indian IT sector. To be very honest, in 2020, plus 2021 whatever time we spent which is 17 days of 2021 there is a big action happened in the IT sector across the globe and I know that and from the very first day I am keep saying that the regulator understanding of the IT sector is really very 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 limited in fact, regular understanding, regulator understanding of any market is very, very limited, you know. But having said that, in the US market, we call this FANG, F -double -A -N -G. I'm not sure why people don't edit M in that, but FANG should have M also. Like F stands for Facebook. Facebook is very much active in India. Now they have WhatsApp pay. Unfortunately, due to their privacy policies, I I understand many people switch from Facebook to different different apps whatever they like but now Facebook will make it I think they make it clear that there are either some changes happening in the privacy policy or they are not rolling it down a stands for Apple Apple is really aggressive in India I understand that there was a time when India was highly dominated by the Samsung and I think now Apple is having a considerable share in the Indian market and with iPhone 12 and different other uh, the upcoming versions, Apple is really targeting Indian market very well. Amazon, I don't think I need to explain anything about Amazon in India because Amazon is Amazon e-commerce, Amazon Pay, you know, and humongous products of Amazon. Few days ago. I was looking at the a video on YouTube wherein it was uh, described uh, they were describing the new campus of Amazon I think in Bangalore or some part of India I, I don't think it is a campus it's a seven star hotel they have made I was looking at it and although it was a five minutes video but I was looking at I was like guys do you call this campus is it more than a five star office I served almost 10 years in Indian IT and ITES companies in a treasury department. I hardly seen any IT company. I went through almost all IT company offices in, in India and few outside India also like in Singapore also we regularly visiting multiple offices of the MNCs multinational corporation but I have hardly seen any office the Amazon made. Amazon is really doing strategic and huge investments in India. Netflix am I supposed to tell you how much Amazon plus Netflix gained during this lockdown period in India why India across the globe across the globe both Amazon and Netflix gained a huge momentum and now Amazon and Netflix are very aggressive in their prime videos like they have they are launching different different videos like very recently they launched a web series by mr mr saif ali khan known as standard i watch it and i think it's really interesting i am waiting for the season two not sure when it would come and uh, another series is coming about family you know i think it is my very well known uh, bollywood actor that is also pretty interesting and 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 the, the video which they made the series they made on the IPL scams and so on and so forth G is the Google I don't think we need to talk about Google because Google is worldwide Google India is like another country of Google Google is across the globe Europe US India Brazil Russia China Denmark what not where the Google is not there plus definitely the Microsoft Microsoft few years ago was one of the name in cloud computing and we should be very thankful to a gentleman who is not very active in the public domain but his work is quite apparent and I'm talking about Nadella after Nadella Microsoft gained 
extremely well in cloud computing and now when I speak about cloud I only remember four words which is Google, Amazon, Microsoft and Alibaba and all made wonderful progress of course all products are different they have their pros and cons permutation combinations different pricings and everything that happens when I speak about IT companies I IT sector I'm not speaking about the coding piece in fact I still remember 2007 my very first day in the IT company of my career when I asked a question in front of 500 people to the so-called business director that why do you need 65,000 people workforce to generate this much revenue and he was offended and the result is that today almost all IT companies are firing people we have seen what is happening in the cognizant no IT company is an exception and one of the formidable tools IT companies are having is that they will cut your job on the name of appraisal so there are two kind of firings which IT company actually do the one kind of firing is IT company will come in public example I am the spokesperson of IT company hi this side Rahul Magan here I am the HR head of XYZ IT company uh, you understand what is going on in the IT sector worldwide global recession and all we decided to cut 10,000 jobs in India probably in another three years we will cut 10,000 jobs this 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 category and all this is one way American companies follows this way Indian IT company there is a board meeting Mr. HR you need to cut 5,000 jobs make sure that the managers will not give four out of five so there are one to five ratings maximum people should get three or two ratings we need to reduce the workforce on the on the name of ratings as simple as that you understood I want 5,000 people should get PIP now what is the hell what is the hell PIP means performance improvement plan it means that as per your so-called manager your performance is not up to the mark you put in PIP I HR people come into the picture eventually you will get fired this is how Indian IT companies are firing American IT companies come in public domain accept that they are cutting the job because of revenue business and whatever and take the media and, and everything on, on their head while Indian companies use this diplomacy more or less the same scenario you have in the banking sector also example as per the Bloomberg around 500k which is roughly half a million jobs is cut in US and Europe by uh, in US and Europe by respective banks in the last six years which is 2014 to 2020 and I'm telling you Indian banks are cutting jobs every day but that will never come in the public because of the media so when I speak about IT sector I'm not speaking about the Indian way which is coding tick, 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 tick. because coding is going now we all knew that ITES information technology enabled companies are losing substantial revenue because of automation example I served ITES company for seven years what used to happen a client known as XYZ used to give his work to the Indian IT company which he used to delegate in India on bill on dollar terms and a huge workforce used to get this work done they go to set up the processes each and everything all Natak used to be done now cloud just take my work to Amazon Microsoft Azure Azure is Microsoft Alibaba or Google Cloud I will handle with cloud because the question is that in cloud you're secure example I am secure I am using Google pay I am secure because Google is providing me the security I am secure in, 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 in any of the payment networks of uh, Amazon Pay because Amazon is providing me the security. So as a client if I am using Azure or Microsoft or uh, Amazon AWS or any other, any other product I am secure that's more important. So IT sector is really 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 revolving. Now here comes
there is a term called big tech big technologies unfortunately several people in the world are having negative implications on the big tech and they include the regulator also example in us when facebook zuckerberg tried very hard for his crypto coin called libra the regulators came in public domain and almost not allowed it if i would if i were at the place of zuckerberg i would have taken all regulators in the public domain and first prove their understanding but big tech means big corporates like fang plus m microsoft they are big corporates huge money huge sales example apple annual sales is more than 200 billion dollars and i know that many people feel offended which i repeat every time if i add the total sales of indian it companies which is wipro plus hcl plus tcs plus infi is it even one fifth one fourth of the apple sales the total sales of wipro hcl infi plus you know tcs is it even one one fourth of the apple sales apple made in in one year why mindset americans company work on value propositions indian company work on money propositions american companies do not say hey guys i have 2 lakh people working for me they say i have apple i have cloud how many indian it companies even reached to the level of american it companies in terms of cloud and guys before you feel offend or any few people feel offend remember that cloud was an open opportunity for everybody in 2000 and around 2012 2013 it was open opportunity for google for amazon for microsoft as well as for alibaba alibaba is an e-commerce player but the way they handled cloud is to jack ma so these big tech works across the globe they are technological giants and the fintech you know the definition of india fin definition of fintech in india peer to peer gateway is fintech spi app you know is fintech Paytm is fintech. This is fintech. How dare you can challenge the Indian definition? How dare you can challenge? They are unicorns. Today there are three top regions of fintech. Number one is US, which is Fang plus Microsoft. Number two is China, definitely. And one of the important thing which I love to see when Biden would join as an American president on 19th January is how he would be handling that issue. And third is definitely the Europe. But unfortunately Europe is not what you know you are having US and China. These companies are having huge automation. They are having global workforce like Amazon. Amazon is working almost everywhere. Google is working almost everywhere. You know Microsoft everywhere, Facebook. They are having huge investment in technology, and most importantly, I forgot to tell you, the marriage. Marriage. What is marriage? US banks are investing heavily in technology. Goldman and JP Morgan proved it in 2020 when the whole world was reeling under covid crisis which is today also. Goldman and JP Morgan were resilient because they consistently invested in the technology and the end result they gain huge I would say huge. And If I tell you the Apple reserves, the free cash you have in the books of Apple, I don't think even even Indian companies are having. Don't ask me. And they are going to use these reserves in a very efficient way very soon. What issues we have 
for Indian IT companies in 2021 is definitely they will have a huge competition from big tech which includes and when it say about big tech I strongly recommend three names which is Amazon of course Microsoft and and Facebook Donald Trump was very clear on one thing regarding the US visa issues on a very often base it came in public domain that US companies that that the visa denial rate are consistently going up it is very easy to speak when you are in opposition but we will really see when Biden would join as an American president how fairly he would be performing as far as the visa issues are concerned Another issue is that 58% of the revenue of Indian IT companies are coming from United States of America. 50, 58% of the revenue is coming from US, 58 even today. I still remember in 2007 when I started my career, then Indian IT companies were having a project that they need to reduce the dependency on the US from 58% to uh, around 30%. I still remember, I remember a presentation which was given in one of the conferences by so-called IT industry that at that, I think in 2011 and 12, when Indian companies were getting around 62% revenues from US, but they did a very humongous job from 2011 till 2020, which is in nine years from 62% of the revenue, they have reduced it to 58%. Super job. 30% of the revenue is coming from Europe and we all understand how big is the mess we have in Europe. According to one of the latest research which had happened on the global financial center, compared to March 2020 till September 2020, which is precisely six, seven months period, that London lost a considerable share as a global financial center. And we all understand the mess which is happening in the Europe, across Europe, whether it is Germany, France, London, Scotland, or almost everywhere, almost everywhere. And guys, I'm telling you that if this mess would continue, then God knows what is going to get happen in the near future. But as of today, around 30% of the revenue is coming only from Europe. And of course, the cut in the workforce. Indian IT companies believed in body shopping business. No, I don't know how many of you know about body shopping and all, but body shopping means that, you know, you got to hire a lot of people. You would be charging them on dollar terms on daily basis, do the work. But now the same work is going on the automation. I repeat, I see these five things. Number one is definitely a huge competition from big tech. Number two is the US visa issues, which I don't know how the Biden would be handling. Number three is that 58% of the revenue is coming from US. Around 30% of the revenue is coming from Europe. And a marginal percentage revenue coming from Southeast Asia and cut in the Indian workforce. That's more important. This is how we're going to do. This is Fang, which is Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Microsoft, uh, Google, also known as Alphabet, plus Microsoft. This is Fang. Big tech is very, very, very strong in US, China, followed by Europe. India is not a part of big tech. Big tech, important thing, they are having automation, global workforce, huge investments in the technology and FX reserves. Oh, sorry, cash reserves. The very good marriage which has happened in the, I would say, is the marriage which is the, these big tech are providing technology to the Indian, to the US banks. And I think US bank fared it fairly well in 2020. These are the issues which I see in case of, uh, you know, from Indian IT companies, the major issue is the second one. Second, third, fourth is the major issue. This is our outlook of Indian IT sector. I understand that when I look at Sensex, few IT companies are, but very soon you will see the reality. 
Always remember that the way these big techs are growing, example Amazon, especially Amazon and Microsoft, they are growing. It is like humongous. Well, I would like to concentrate on Amazon because Amazon is always is an OTT player, Amazon Prime. I don't think I need to introduce Amazon in e-commerce. Amazon is having a huge technological setup and Amazon Cloud and so many services which Amazon delivered. Amazon is capable enough to take anywhere. And I think that in another five years, which is I think by 2026, Amazon would be at least double or triple what they are today. Because on one thing, they believe in knowledge, while Indian IT companies believe in money. And that is the reason why right? if I add the, the total top line of Bipro, TCS, Infi plus SCL, it is not even one fourth of what only Apple is earning. Only, only Apple is earning. And what and one thing which I'm definitely not raising is the digital mark, digital revenue thing. So we really need to be alert. We really need to be see how this shapes up. But to be very honest, situation is little tough. In 2021, the big tech, the advancement in the automation, plus the more important is the technological changes will definitely have an impact on the Indian IT sector and most important, the visa issues. This is Rahul from Treasury Consulting. If you want to have any question on our trainings, video trainings, investment banking desk, Sheetal Academy, foreign exchange desk, crypto desk, and, and, and FNO Learnings Academy, this is our WhatsApp number. List is not comprehensive. The list is very large. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, have a great, great time ahead. Thank you.